All right, so I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to bang this video out with 10 minutes to spare before 10 a.m. my time because I want to make sure I give myself a little bit of room for the Wall Street Finance launch, right? Because obviously I'm just going to pump and dump it. I've been telling everyone to leak Discord. That's what I'm doing. And it appears that others are going to be doing that as well, all right? Just for safety reasons. Some people actually still want to hold on to Wall Street Finance token, so that that's that's totally fine. Uh, for me, it's like, I already just play it safe. <clears throat> All right. So I think I vaguely recall someone mentioning Polaris Finance, and then I just kind of just didn't really whatever. But, I mean, I'm literally just, I'm literally just like, you know, just browsing, you know, XYZ website. I already covered DGen Finance. Dante Finance. Uh, stealth launch. Are you, are you, let me see. Oh, boy. Um... These guys actually look pretty stable. Maybe I'll add. Oh, I'll actually add this then. All right, great. Yeah. So I'm, this, this is literally how I should probably just you know whatever. And then, yeah, I just look for this too. You know, I look for the pig. You know, if you, I I don't cover. I mean, I covered this product before, Scarface. I mean, I guess they're still around. But uh, yeah, they're <laughs> you know not doing so great right now. But anyway, Polaris France is KYC. Did have a announcing. Maybe they're actually, and they're on the Aurora blockchain. So it was pretty nice of MetaMask to ask me, hey, you want to add this blockchain automatically? So that's always nice. All right, so Polaris Finance is definitely on a very different blockchain. In fact, this is the first project I've covered in a completely different blockchain, Aurora. So I don't even know if, I know Xpollinate probably has, but does Synapse Protocol even have Aurora? Oh, yeah, they do, actually. And can I, let's say I want to bridge to Binance. They definitely only use USDC. So it was definitely, like, probably a, a niche blockchain for sure. But, hey, they're, like, because they're start with letter A, they're, like, number four on this list. So, all right, cool. All right, so you can bridge from here, too, from and from and to here. So that's good. So from so I did a very quick initial look at this project. So it looks about to be one to three percent. It's actually probably a little under three percent. And it appears that you actually get multiple tokens. I think. Oh, I didn't even look at the circulating supply. I was trying to look for that. All right. So it looks like they have their inflation under control. I'm not even going to bother to check for smart APR because there's already a lot of money invested in here and the numbers are already pretty low so that probably means inflation's under control and let's see they have a little bit of debt and there's no debt in this one so that's fine yeah it's not, that doesn't seem like a lot so from what i can tell polar is the base pay token and lunar and s polar are the shares now, with that being said, I think Lunar is an actual, uh, okay, so Aurora Near. Okay, so maybe I was, so maybe this is another kind of shares or something. I don't know. But there's a lot of money in here. So this is their pool, all right? We can ignore, this is the single stake for Polar Base Pay Token, so that's a good sign. So you can do Lunar Luna, and I think Luna is the base, is the home token of aurora i think that's what it is so you can earn some s polar shares that way of course there here's the base pay token pair with near and then there's also the share near lp so i already looked at it but basically you know it's pretty nice and you know organized i like it looks i mean it looks all right so you know 581k Right, TVL, and was like, eight, what, 0.81% uh, APR. This one's also basically the same. A lot of money deposited in here. And, of course, you got the shared near LP, which pays a little more, but has a lot less TVL. So it looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. But, again, if you want to make the more, most money, you want to put it in the boardroom. So looks like a lot of these stable projects, when all is said and done, the boardroom prints the most money, which is just fine because that increases the value of the shares, which of course sustains the APR of the tomb for. So, and it tells you the TWAP here, it looks pretty good, right? TWAP's also pretty good here as well. So they're pretty much at peg, right? So they're, they're, they're very, they're very whatever. And then I don't know whatever this stuff is. I mean, it says it's coming soon, so whatever. 
All right, so all right, so Dex Green was kind of spazzing out before, but you know they've been around since uh, what did they say? February seventeenth. So they've been out basically for one and a half months. This is the pig token, consistently going up. Looks pretty solid. This is the disconnected from server. Yeah, I don't want to care. And this is the S Polish share. So it was as low as nineteen sixteen or sixteen dollars, and now it's two hundred and ten dollars. So you can make a lot of money if you bought the bottom of the share. This is pretty rare to see something like this. And then I think this Lunar at Luna, this new share thing is definitely very new. This was released March nineteenth. So this definitely came later. So this is actually a relatively new addition compared to the two before. I had some crazy swings. I should actually set it at four hours. Okay, there we go. So we can uh, see a little better. So it was as low as $68.54, and now it's at 106 So this is obviously a lot more volatile, but it looks like it's been, uh, you know, stabilizing to the uptrend pretty well. So again, another very good sign. So like I said, I'm kind of in a rush. I really don't have anything more to say. I mean, you want just something completely out of left field. I mean, Polaris looks pretty, pretty solid. You know, again, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to have multiple windows open. I want the high APR, right? And I ideally want all my tune forks on Yield Wolf, so I only have to have one tab open at, uh, in my browser. All right, because again, the money is also in the compounding as well, right? Even though Apex Code Seven and Hamster are down for me. If they've, they've, they've pretty much been down for me this whole time because I've been pulling so much profit from it. You know, it's like, okay, well, now I'm just getting less money. In fact, I kind of have to let the uh, positions in Yield Wolf grow because I've been basically I've been pulling out more than it's been compounding, so which is kind of hilarious. So I guess now will be a good time to compound because it's clearly obvious to me that right now there's something going on with the markets, right? I mean, Bitcoin is now below 45K, right? The overall markets are doing shit. All right. Yeah, there we go. We got the actual whatever. So there's just a lot of fear, fear trade going on. But we got, we got to check the bond market as the story to this. So bonds are actually dumping. Okay. Well, that's actually different. So people are going into cash, right? Uh, dollar slightly down. Yeah. So it's really the Fed. Yeah. I mean, it says right here, Fed remarks. May affect that with SEC, blah, 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 yeah. I mean, the tribals are going to go after Elon Musk because they can't allow free speech on Twitter. But, you know, we'll see what happens with that. It's obviously not our problem right now. And, yeah, I mean, because I've been making videos, I haven't even watched Greg Manorino, so I have to find out what's actually going on with the markets. But it's clearly obvious that something's, you know, there's money's just shifting around, so whatever. You know, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I think the markets are pricing in another... Uh, I think the markets are actually pricing in a higher than normal, well, higher than normal, quote unquote, uh, Fed rate hike. So instead of 25 basis points in May, I think they might be pricing in 50 or even 75. Well, 75 would probably be too much for the market. But again, I mean, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, if I see the Dow is down like 2,000 points today, and like people are like just losing their shit. You know that would be an indicator. Actually, yeah, I mean the bonds will tell the bond yields are telling me right now they're pricing in more like fifty percent basis points. Right, just look at the ten-year yield and you look at the aggregate bonds. Like, it's just fuck you, Jim Cramer, you fucking Nazi. So and he really is. You know he wants to round all the people up. So you know at least the unvaccinated. But you know whatever. So anyway, uh, check out Polaris Finance. Uh, I don't have really much more to say. I've got, as always, a lot of work to do. Well, not really, but i got to just catch up on content. I actually want to also catch St. Nick's show from last night. I want to see if we covered the uh, mass shooting that occurred in, I think, Sacramento. All right. So, you know, I just want to hear his thoughts on that. And, of course, you know, right now there's just crap going on in the market, especially the tech sector. So that's actually why... So now I know why cryptocurrencies are under a lot of pressure right now, which sucks. But, I mean, everything's been going straight up, so there had to be an excuse to go down. So I guess that might, might as well just be today and yesterday, technically. Oh, well, whatever. So Web3 is actually doing pretty well. Apparently, Seifu is actually doing pretty well. It's going up when everything else is going down, including Sphere. 
But that's because Web3 already had, like, its hyper dump. So, I mean, I mean it had an instant overnight 33% correction. Classic. And now it's bouncing back up. Hopefully it just keeps going up, but, you know, we'll see. So, oh, and before I go, someone asked me, how do I, why is the NFTs between uh, Wall Street Finance and Web3 so important? It's because, I mean, I said this in the Wall Street Finance video, but I'll say it again for for you who made that, left that con. I don't remember your name. Uh, it's because it's about legitimacy, right? I think Wall Street Finance is basically a scam, right? I know, uh, that's basically, I think it's a scam outright. Web3, on the other hand, I think is a legitimate project that actually is offering NFTs and other coding development. That's why it keeps going up. It's a real legit project. Wall Street Finance, if they prove themselves to not be a scam, then they have to actually show evidence that they actually can code and have graphics artists do the NFT thing. Because then that means they'll probably do everything else that they say they will do. From what I can tell... It's just a pump and dump scan with lots of marketing. That's a classic red flag, right? Now, I'm still willing to go along with it, right? Get the pump and dump, right? And then when I see it collapse, it's like, well, I don't care. And I also make a policy not to make FUD videos. So I can't just say, hey, this is a scam project. Don't invest in it. Because then I have all the assholes from Twitter and the, the Wall Street Finance Discord say, hey, you're fucking up my bag. You know, downvote, downvote. And they'll probably mass report it too. So it's like, it's like you can't win. It's like you know I'm trying to tell you the truth, but you know people don't want to hear the truth. It, it's just a such it's just a scummy, screwed up situation. So you know, and then and people lose all their money. So there's nothing I can do. So you know I can I can say what I really want to say on the video, but I just can't write that in the words in the title and the description because that's actually what shows up on the ranking algorithm for YouTube, and then that fucks up the product, and then I get the blame. Even though I'm not the one that's scamming people, I'm the one telling. Basically, I'm the messenger and I'm being shot, right? For telling the, telling the king, you know, bad news. Apparently, that's actually been a thing. So that's why you, that's why you always see in like sometimes like Hollywood movies or comics or shows or whatever. You always see the messenger get scared <laughs> of telling the king the bad news, right? That's exactly what this is. So yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully nobody wants to kill me. So, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, who wants to do that? I mean, I'm looking for such a likable guy, you know? So anyway, and deck screener is just spazzing out for some stupid reason. So anyway, check out Polaris Finance. A uh, very stable project, just like the last one, like EMP money. All right. In fact, I think processing should be done on that. I've got 22 minutes to spare. So, uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. Let me see. This project does look like it's been live for a while. So, maybe I'll actually do this project. Yeah, I might want to do this project as well. I mean, i kind of a little dry on content right now. So, uh, well, I can't do it now. So, maybe I'll do it later after. You know, I'll, I'll save this. What is this called? Dante Finance for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is also printer one. Harmony launch, so I need to be doing that too. So I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see. You know, I'll def I'll see you either in the next video today or fifty seventy five percent chance. Def I'll definitely see you tomorrow for sure. All right. So I just don't know if I'll do a third video because I got because normally I would just go right into a third video, but again I gotta play the Wall Street Finance thing. Also, I kind of want to see what actually happens with the Discord too. So I can't be doing videos, right? Obviously. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, and if Wall Street Finance does prove itself to be a scam, I'm just going to update the last Wall Street video. I'm not going to make a new video. I'll just write, update, you know, this project has gone down. Everyone's panicking. You know, I'll check. Just remind me in one to two weeks to revisit this project and see if, uh, you know, it pulls itself back up or it proves itself to be an actual scam. Just let me know in the comments. That's all I'm going to write in the description, right? So, because, again, I don't want to, like, be inadvertently blamed for tanking a project. So, even though it's not my fault, right? It's, it's just so stupid. It's just so stupid. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. See you uh, either later today, maybe, uh, but definitely t by tomorrow. So, thanks. And uh, yeah, check out Polaris Finance. Very solid looking project, pretty much at peg, which could be a risk, right? But, I mean,. There's a lot of money in here anyway, so I, I'm getting, and I see that there was a, some debt incurred. So, yeah. Thanks.